here. This is Gail from fantasticfreezer.com, where we turn your fridge and freezer nightmare into a dream. We're going to show you how your fantastic organizer can help your dream come true in your kitchen. And how do we do that? Well, we're going to help you achieve three different goals with your fantastic organizer. First of all, we're going to increase your storage space by 300%. We're going to lower your food costs by 30%. And then we're going to save you 300% more on your food prep time. That's pretty amazing, right? Mm. But you may say, you know what? I'm just fine the way I am. Life's fine. But have you thought about the fact that maybe you're running out of storage space in your fridge or freezer and you don't want to buy another one? Or how about this? You're, you're preparing foods very seldom. You're actually buying frozen TV dinners. This is an example of a portion size TV dinner. Or perhaps what you're doing is going through the drive through and grabbing a bag, either to eat it in the car or at home. Or maybe you're just so pressed for time that you're ordering in and that's what you're eating. Have you ever thought about the cost of all that? It's increasing a lot lately. Have you noticed? Well, we've got the solution for that. I'm going to show you how we achieve all those goals with the Fantastic Organizer. The good news is that the Fantastic Organizer really is the only guaranteed way for you to get control over your food costs and your organization of your fridge and freezer. So I wanted to show you a picture. I'll bet you've been annoyed by the same things that bothered us. This is a before shot of our freezer where we had the usual bins and bags and baskets. And when we went to find something, we'd pull out one, look for it. Of course, it wasn't in that one. And then we tried to look for it in that one. That wasted a lot of time. And anyway, it was very stressful. And worst of all, don't you think that's kind of crazy? We thought so too. So that's why we invented the fantastic organizer. The secret is to have an abundance of pullout shelves instead of those fixed shelves that you have in your regular freezer and freeze refrigerator. So the other thing is, if you're going to reduce your costs by 30% or even 300%, there's a secret to do that if you're buying TV dinners or doing takeout right now. So how do you dramatically reduce those food costs? Well, you got to make them yourself. You got to make your own TV dinners or your own portion packed dinners. It's really easy to do. All you have to do is bulk buy, batch cook, portion pack, and freeze them or store them in your fantastic organizer in your fridge or freezer. Bonus is that you can use your preferred spices to help season your meals the way you like them. And then you can eliminate those nasty chemicals that the food manufacturers put into their TV dinners. So where do you get the best prices? Well, you go to the warehouse clubs like Costco, BJ's, Sam's Club, and so on. And then you buy all that great food, you know, the meats and the vegetables, then schedule a couple of hours on the weekend where you prepare it, batch cook it, you know, all those soups and stews and other delicious items that you're going to have. If you've been on our website, you've probably seen where we batch barbecue at the park. And what we do is we bring it back after we've done it, we portion pack it. We, we recommend putting it just in a single layer on the shelf. Okay. There's, you'll see there's a there's a shelf label that coordinates with the label in the package. And then we also do it for burgers and you can see everything's color coordinated. So the ideal is to be able to identify things later when you're searching for them a couple of months later. They never look the same when they're frozen. <laughs> so you can use your fantastic organizer to improve your life. And by the way, you can reheat everything just the same way that you do right now with your current TV dinners. And you know what? It's so easy to retrofit your fridge and freezer. It comes with four shelves, right? That are fixed, that come by the manufacturer. So what you're going to do is pull those out. Now you're left with an empty space inside. And then if you've ever heard of Lego or the Meccano Erector sets, you know what I mean. You're going to use building blocks. And I'm going to show you a little demo here of what I mean. So on the floor, you're going to have what we call a um, crossbar footer. And then these are what we call the post segments. And we have videos demonstrating how to do these. But you just put them in and you're going to build posts. So you put this in, there's one. And then you snap in the second one. Click, see? Then you snap in the third one. 
And you can, you can build these to be as big or as tall as you'd like, but they all stick together. And then let's say we wanted another one over here because you're going to have two posts, okay, up the side of the inside of your fridge and freezer. And again, you can make them as short or as tall as you like. Presto. So you can simply snap them together to the side that you want, and then you put in the rails, you put in the shelves, and you've got a fantastic organizer, just like that. Here is what we showed with the footer at the bottom and the post, two posts inserted, and that's on the left and the right side. And then from those posts, there's the same kind of crossbars at the top to stabilize against the ceiling. And here you can see the whole organizer, fantastic organizer. You may ask, why do I need a label? Why do I need a QR code on that label? It's very simple. So you can find your stuff. When you have something frozen and you try to find it in your 15 shelves, like we do, wherever you put it last week, last month, whenever, you need to have labels. You need labels on the shelves that coordinate with the labels on your containers. For example, you know, we have these pork chops. We have a lot of pork chops because we did that barbecue. So these are PVC. This is credit card material. It's just the same as you have exactly the same credit card material. And these slide into the, the, the label holder, wherever you want it, but they're also in the packages. And of course, we color coordinate that. You'll see, you know, veggies and, you know, different berries and so on. And we, you can put them on the top of your containers if you want to. There's the broth label. But back to the top label, you'll see this is the QR code I was mentioning. What if you were in the store and you wanted to know, do I need to buy some more pork chops? You know, big roast loin at the Costco. They've got a sale on. Well, let's find out how many you have already. You can just scan it using that fantastic inventory tracker system that we have. It's really cool. You can see it on your mobile device. And then where do you put the labels when you take them out of the package after you've, you've had that food? Where are you going to put that label? Well, you're going to put it on a label holder. We make them. And so these label holders are clear acrylic plastic. They're very strong, very sturdy. And what we do is we, we have three of them together on the front of our freezer when we have some on the side of our refrigerator as well because we use the labels there as well. And then you can wash the labels, of course. And when you put them in, you can sort them by how you want them. The main thing is that these labels and the label holder and the whole system with the fantastic organizer will help you take back control of your food cost, your storage capacity, and your prep time. You'll, you'll lead a, mess, more, a less stressful life. And best of all, it will pay for itself in at least or less than 12 months.